Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays for Resident Evil. So, we have a big room to explore that I avoided before very specifically. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's in it, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna guess it's something not good, because typically big rooms in Resident Evil are bad. Awesome, but bad. And that's the elevator, so it should be here. Oh, it's a uh, really close up of that moth. Knob is broken. Oh. Okay. Well, I do know where we can go then. Uh, it's just back over this way. I'm sure I'm going the right way here. We have the key, the helmet key. I know there's one more door that goes to the end of the hallway where that blade trap was from the very beginning of the game. I have to remember how to maneuver myself away around that way. I think if there's one thing that I would have liked to see for the remake of the remake is just a uh, mini map. I don't really like, I don't, you know, I don't really want UI stuff on the screen necessarily, but uh, having some sort of just on-screen mini-map would really help with navigation. Yeah, and this is probably our last helmet key door. It is, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I don't trust this door. Probably for good reason. Are there items in here? Yes, there are. Well, that sound is pleasant. Hello? Oh, hi! Ooh! Oh, goodness. Yeah, I can... Hey, what's that? Oh, Jesus! Now, the problem here is if I get poisoned, I'm kinda stuck. Get at it. Oh, I thank you. And that's the last we'll see of Yawn. We actually didn't get poisoned there. That's that really is surprising. Um, I'm actually just gonna use this here. Last book, volume two. Hmm. Okay. And there's another medallion. That is a damn good question. Is there a, oh, this must be those. Knob is broken. Oh, well, that's weird.
<laughs> I just got a uh, pop up here. I have to excuse me for a moment. All right. Someone decided to send me a gift. Thank you very much, person that sent me the gift. Uh, I could probably take my pistol out for now. It is eerily quiet, though. So the Spencer family crest door is on the other side of the mansion, I think. And it's potentially the last thing we have to do here. Yeah. So, it's time to make our way over there. What's the best way to get there? I think heading through this way and uh, through the dining room, probably. Which is uh, here. And it is which all? I want to be. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the long way through actually, because that damn doorknob is broken. So I'm gonna have to go downstairs and around. Say hi to our zombie friend. You gonna come say hello? I really should not get that close. <laughs> liable to clip through that box or something and take a swipe at me. Oops, don't want to push that. Now, if I was smart, I would go save before I go in here, but I'm probably not going to. Now that door is in the next room. Yeah, see the problem is if I go to save, then I have to make the trip all the way back around the mansion again because that door is broken. And that door is right over here. Yes. Some items here. Too dark to see anything. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. Ah, I, is it the same crest? Ooh, shotgun shells. By a lot. Oops. Contents are still intact. Hmm. So, is there anything else in here? No. Well, that's suspicious. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take the trip around because if I'm gonna head out to the other place again, I gotta pick up some items. I should refill the kerosene too, in case I need that again. Um, do I want to take my shotgun instead? I mean, I, maybe I should. Just trade the shotgun for these shells. Uh, probably don't need the metal of the wolf right now. I definitely need the battery. I definitely need the crank. And I pr I'm gonna guess I need the metal object. I'm guessing that's no longer placed there, so. Reload the shotgun. Should s oh, I gotta get the kerosene filled, and I should save. Oh, there <laughs> there's none left in here. All right, never mind then. Just kidding. Down to like five ink ribbons, huh? It's the first time I've actually gotten that low, I think. Oh, I'm down to four now. Uh, let's see. So we got the battery, the square crank, the metal object. So, we need to get back to that hallway. Kind of strange that that's still saying that the, there's an item there, like the metal object is still there. Hmm. Should take us out to the wire area. Actually, can we loop through here faster going through the graveyard? Not really. I think it's pretty much the same length. I know there's no enemies on this path, or at least they weren't. And we get to say hi to our friend again. Hello. Also kind of puts this all in perspective of how much more difficult Chris is playing. Um, you've only got six slots of inventory space. I think in the later Resident Evil games, it seemed to recall you got like inventory expansions. That never happens in Resident Evil 1, so. Definitely a little more constrained. Now we are gonna have two dogs to contend with at some point here. That's really weird that there's another one. Hmm. Uh, which door am I going through here now? The, okay, I do want to go through the big door. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shh. 
shit. It's broken. I mean, it's not entirely broken, Jill. Brad, I believe, is the pilot for reference. So if I'm thinking correctly... We need to... Go place this battery. And then come back around, I think, through that hallway to crank the water back so it clears the waterfall on this side. And uh, I'll probably just use my shotgun right here, actually. These damn dogs. Ah. Do have a dagger at least. He's gonna get up though, I think. Yeah. Not getting up from that one though. I just so happen to have a battery. Oh, this goes up. I thought it was going to go down. Wait, did that just... Oh, okay. That, that immediately travels us back around. Alright. Guess my brain wasn't really putting two and two together there. Now, I think that's the last time we need that crank. I don't know if it's going to tell us to discard it or, uh... Probably not. Yeah. I am- I'm pretty sure that's the last time we ever need that crank, though, so... Can probably just deposit that for good next time we hit a storage container. And now, this waterfall is clear. Looks like a really nice shot. And down we go. Um, hmm. Typewriter and item box, huh? Ooh, and a blue herb. That's probably important. Still more items here. I'll stash these for now. Put this crank away, probably for good. Man, I wish I knew what the metal object was for though. Oh, is a hexagon hole there? Hmm. Well, maybe that's a good place to stop for now. Uh, and so I will save, and we will continue next time exploring this underground area. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click like. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.